Welcome back. You are tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Express Arash on S3. It is a Tuesday morning, uh, which means we also delve into some relationship issues and dilemmas. Now, we have a bit of a scenario that we want to unpack this morning. And, you know, the, the scenario goes like, listen, Majosi, you're going to be joining in. Please weigh in as well as a married man <laughs> yourself. <laughs> but but this is a scenario. It, it really focuses around having kids and the topic of kids and how to broach those conversations. So, so the scenario is this. There's a couple um, and everything is in place for them they they are on the same level um they 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 connect they they communicate everything is going absolutely perfect for this couple they they're happy together they love each other the next step now is to obviously buy a house but the thing is the topic of conversation now she never felt like you know carrying a baby herself she's all open for kids okay you can you can read the full story as well um open for kids but but she feels that you know what I don't want to go through the whole pregnancy. I never wanted that, although I am open to being a mother. The husband or the boyfriend at this stage, at this stage, believes that, you know, his kids needs to be biological and he's not really open to, to adopting kids. Okay, so that's where the issue now comes in mm. because she feels like, but he can't tell me what to do with my body. Yet they love each other. They have all of this history together. Okay. So the topic of kids. So in this story, they also say they have discussed the option of surrogacy. Yeah. And unfortunately for them, it, it's too expensive yeah. of an option for them they unless need... they win the lotto 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's the scenario this couple is in. So naturally, we want to unpack this. I'm pretty sure both of you, including myself, we've had these conversations with our partners yeah. as to where we stand on, where do we want kids, how many kids we want, by when do we want kids. Was that a conversation that was continuous throughout your relationship? Yes, for sure. I think uh, both uh, me and Daniela, we've had these conversations before we even started dating. You know, because oh, really? you want to spend your life with someone, you want to kind of be like, okay, cool, can we do life together? And one of those things in life is having kids, you know, and that's an important discussion. Like, I don't think people communicate enough in general, but especially mm. when they're getting into a long relationship with mm. a person, you know, so it's really an important to understand what the other person wants from life and see where you can kind of give and take, because, you know, there's some things that we're not all going to agree on, but what are the things that are steadfast yeah. in your journey in life? Having know? kids is almost like one of those, <clears throat> those you know, deal breaker conversations, yeah. right? My question is, when is the right time to have that conversation? Because obviously we, we take a look at these, you know, reality shows and love and all of that, you know, and it oftentimes comes out as, oh, the one party wants kids, the other one doesn't. How do I tell this person? Is this mm -hmm. a deal breaker or so? So does it matter in your opinion when you have that conversation? Because when myself and my wife, when we got together, I mean, we were fairly young. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something on our topics of discussion at that stage, but I can tell you now, if we were to have that conversation right now, and I mean, we this year married 17 years, if we had the conversation back then, I wasn't in a position where I could even fathom the idea of kids. Yeah. However, she would have loved to be a mother, you know, mm. and now we're going back. But if we broach that conversation, our relationship might have not worked out. Sure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's very good. I think it all depends on the person, but it also it doesn't have to be like let's sit down and just chat about these things about so First like, you know what i mean yeah it can be a casual thing like yeah. between friends like if you when you hang around with people enough you kind of generally get a sense of what they want from their future mm. you know and um but you are right there are a lot of people who i guess start off like one of my good friends like he didn't want kids at all and now he has a daughter and he couldn't be happier you know exactly. it is life is is complicated you know it's not as simple as like you want you don't want kids so you'll never want kids for the rest of your life or you want kids now it's very but i think it's just understanding the under person and also willing to make a sacrifice sometimes you know mm. i would i would love to hear from you as well zoe i know we're going to cross to zanella i want to have her input as well but zoe i mean as a as a newly married woman as yeah. well i mean how did you guys broach this um i think we used you know friends of ours are obviously further along in their life journey with regards to they've been married longer they've been together longer they some of them have had kids and some of them even struggled to conceive so that was kind of a big springboard for our conversation so even before we got engaged or 
married, we were on the same page as to, yes, we would love to have kids. And we even discussed as how far we were willing to go in our relationship to try and conceive. Because mm. so often when a couple faces infertility, they never had that discussion of how many rounds of IVF are we willing to do sure. compared to when do we give up and mm. consider adoption? Mm. And not, I understand, not everyone's heart is open for adoption. Mm. And, and so those are the types of conversations we had to navigate and we've done that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still very a sensitive one, I think, for a I lot think, of couples. I think sensitive is a good word because, I mean, can you imagine? Like, oh, it's like nowadays what the answer on the apps, you know, it's like, ah, oh, let's swipe. Ah, oh, yes, I'm going to meet, set up a date, whatever. Boom. Hi, my name is Ewan. Do you want kids? You well, if I'm you're on Hinge, <laughs> Hinge does give you that option to say really? open to kids, don't oh, want kids, yeah. or want kids. I'm not on yeah. Hinge. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on Hinge. I want to I hear from you, Zanele. Um, what's the deal? How do you see this? The, the, the topic of broaching kids, you know, if, in, early in a relationship. Listen, I definitely feel like, no, this is something you always need to have a conversation about. You see how you just spoke about you and, you know, when you meet the person, you're there and you ask already straight off the bat. I think that there always needs to be a little bit of an understanding in terms of what you see for yourself. Do you want to be a parent? Do you not want to be a parent? But then the really important thing, I also think you need to explore the other sides of it, right? Of if someone changes their mind. You know what mm. I mean? When you now have decided, okay, we want to get married. But what if, yes, in the beginning, we both like we don't want to be a parent and now a few years down the line I'm like oh you know what I've actually changed my mind I think that also needs to be a little bit of a conversation and I definitely think that with our incredible anonymous who shared this story with us that I think so many people would be able to relate to it's all about having a little bit of a mediator someone who's going to be there to help you kind of navigate this specific place that they find themselves in because sometimes you need that third voice that's going to kind of bring reason and maybe just bring everybody to be in one place to understand each other a little bit better I like that I like that and like what Josie also said the fact that thanks Anneli I appreciate that. Like Majosi, like you said, I mean, you know, being in an environment where there's people around maybe changes your perspective. But I mean, it's also for me, I mean, this is such a, a heavy topic for, for a lot of people, you know, and they want to broach that topic and subject as soon as possible. But I mean, in, in the same breath, I feel when you meet somebody new, just, I think, relax into it for a second yeah. first and see if there is a little something between you as an individual and that person as well, right? Yeah. Before you bring up the whole thing, get a bit of a vibe going first. You know, chat and see how it unfolds. Get It'll that be... attraction. Yeah, ah. exactly. Well, what we've done is we've also posed the story of Anonymous on our social media. So we've got some comments that came through. Ooh. Tuli gave us a big response saying, I would suggest since you have great communication skills and this one discussion that goes beyond your reasoning on both sides, seek therapy preferably pertaining adoption surrogacy and biological birth that will give both parties a chance to explore and fully comprehend the different ways of having kids once that's tapped into then couples therapy will then help you navigate on what works best for both of you within your individual preferences mm. kids are a permanent decision and if you can't cope to come to terms on how to have them it will flow on your parenting style so i really hope sure. that helps that's a really yeah. beautiful response yeah. very beautiful yeah Let's, let's take a look. We have some more comments. Yeah. Uh, we definitely want, don't want to go anywhere on this uh, on this discussion. I'm, I'm going to bounce out while you reach Perfect. This, this comment. Right. Okay, so Gail says this may turn into a bigger issue later. Later on, he should find someone that wants to share the rest of their lives together and bear him children, okay? Um, let's see what other comments came through. Susan saying, there's no such thing as a perfect life. Mm -hmm. Just don't get married yet as you are most definitely not ready. Enjoy your life and see how you feel in the future. You most likely have your own reasons for not ever wanting to fall pregnant, but believe you, um, it's a beautiful journey with the right partner. Well, there you go. So some interesting views, of Very course. This is yeah. one of those hot topics. Everyone will be extremely opinionated, mm -hmm. but it definitely comes down to the couple in question. Oh. Oma Josie, thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank we threw you in a relationship <laughs> talk. I know. <laughs> Perhaps some some songwriting inspiration. Yeah, yeah. It's a, well, it's a serious topic, man. And I, I think, you know, everyone has their reasons and um, it's just trying to understand each other, you know. Yeah, listen, communicate more and just and listen to each other. Yeah. Well, Ntuli definitely echoed a very good thing. They've got great communication skills, so definitely keep at that. If you want to be part of that conversation, feel free to join it online. You can follow us at Expresso Show using that hashtag Expresso Show.